Hello students, today we are going to talk about how to use Scratch to produce spiral patterns like this. First of all, let's recall what we have learned in previous lesson. For example, if we are going to draw a square, we will repeat moving 100 steps for 4 times and after each movement, we turn the angle by 90 degrees, say in the anti-clockwise direction. And then we have a square like this. And remember, we have a rule like this. This repeat number multiplied by the turn angle should always give 360 degrees in order to close the square. So what if I change the angle, say, to 85 degrees, something less than 90 degrees, and then we draw the square, the so-called square again. So we can see that the square is not closed, and there's a gap between the starting point and the ending point. But what if at this point, we increase the number of repeat, say from 4 to 40. So let's see what happened. So we can see that we have a beautiful spiral pattern produced like this. And if we continue to increase this number, say to 80, So this complete the spiral. Actually, if we change this turn angle, it will always give us a different spiral pattern. For example, I change this to 92 degrees and then run the program again. The pattern is a little bit different from that of 85 degrees. So in order to close the spiral, we have to say increase the number of repeat to 100 times. And now we can see a complete pattern like this. And then if I want it to be, say, 110 degrees, I can draw another spiral again. But it seems that changing this angle manually every time is a little bit troublesome. So we have to figure out a more convenient way to change this turn angle without doing it by ourselves manually. So we can make use of the concept of using a variable because this angle will change. Therefore, we make it to be a variable. You can find the variable menu on the left hand side. So it should be in orange color. So in order to make a variable, we click this one make a variable with a turn angle. So we give the variable a meaningful name, say angle. So this is important because the name of the variable tell its meaning. And then we click OK. Now we have a variable called angle. And of course we can set initial angle at the beginning to 90 degrees. And then we replace this 110 degrees by the variable angle. We drag the variable angle right here. Now let's test the program. So uh, again, we set it to 90 degrees, so it will always give us just a ordinary square. If we set it to 95, it will give us a spiral. But how can we draw another spiral automatically? after we draw the first one. Our way is to erase the screen and then we change the turn angle and then we put all these blocks inside another repeat loop. And now I want to change this angle. So I have a block like this, change angle by something. So after we repeat this for 100 times, we change the angle say by 5 degrees and then it will do another spiral. But of course, before we draw a new spiral, we have to erase the previous one before we can do the next one. And then we put this in another repeat loop. Say, repeat this for two times only. So this will draw one spiral. And then it will increase the angle by five degrees and then erase everything and then draw another spiral. So this is 
the first one. This is the second one. You can see from the angle, it starts from 95 and then increase to 100 in the second time. So we can repeat this, say for 10 times, and run the program again. This is 95, this is 100, and then 105, 110, and then 115. 120, 125, 130, 135, and so on. 